I joined. I know he he's asking us should we should we cancel? Is like, yeah sure? <laughs> and then he's not here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sick release meeting for May first, two thousand twenty-three. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. yeah, so the topic that I had uh, that I wanted to discuss was uh, we have these, I, we, we are starting, to, I, so we have these functions and mm -hmm. they are in a, in a, let's say a multi or in a mono repo. So you have various, let's say, functions that would need to be built, let's say, independently. I mean, Okay. So they have their own Docker file and, and so on and so forth. And okay. And the question the question is how would we set this up? Do I don't know how oh, Kubernetes does it. I how Kubernetes does it because you I, you would have multiple Go mod files basically, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So yeah, what I do true. because it's independent image by itself, right? So they all function. Yes, so, but so you right now you put them all into the same repo. I'm guessing. Yeah, that's the idea because we, we I, so for example, we have nephew and nephew, right? So mm -hmm. I nephew project slash nephew, so they are there. Uh, but mm -hmm. I, we would have the same with the controllers at the end. Uh, you will have the same problem with free 5 vc I think. Because if you have multiple controllers, mm -hmm. you don't have a repo per controller, right? So you probably will have- uh, The management cluster, each. the management cluster controller, you mean? So yeah, so I mean, repo and directory mm -hmm. doesn't matter. So you can create directories uh, that is its own workspace uh, for Go, and then and then you can still build yes. its own independent thing. So that's what I did. So I, I use Go Workspace. Uh -huh. So I, I'm just wondering what is the right approach uh, for this, or what would be the right way to to set it up? See, we have more people joining, <laughs> which is nice. Yeah, kind of, uh, a, kind of a late day to go to a daycare center. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, so we, I so, no. so what I personally always do is I do is go workspaces, right? And mm -hmm. then, uh, but Isti was saying that go that uh, go sec. I saw the thing that we are using mm -hmm. has a problem with it. I don't know the details yet. Oh, okay. Really? <laughs> so, so is the problem? That I since, can try we are, it. since we are having everything in one repo with different Go mod files, and then obviously we need one Docker file for each function. That is our end goal, right? So, yeah. Yeah. But that would also be true for controllers. So it's not, I think, specific to functions. But it's yeah, no, no. I mean, we we did well. And I don't think we did Docker uploads, but but then we um, we we did do like everything packed into POCs at one point. A lot of stuff were packed into P, uh, uh, nephew dash POCs on the same repo. Um, at least at least two or three controls were the same were from there. So I think even during the only summit, right? Let me see how we did it. Uh, well, yeah. And it's worth to look at it. GitHub. Uh... Yeah, I think both the free 5GC and the 5G core uh, controllers, I think, are in the same repo. And uh, so this was which were so this was box uh, POC right? with an S, yeah, POCs. Nephew box, okay. Mm -hmm. And then we had the operator, and we had the controller. They owned their own Go mod file, and we yeah. did not use Go works. Ah, but there is no. So that the difference here is that today we have a main Go mod file. So at the moment, what what you did is in the main repo. I saw in the root directory, there's no go mod. Whereas today- Oh, I see, yeah, oh, okay. Oh, someone put that on there? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because yeah, we I, have yeah, this, yeah. I, we, because we, I, it's, I, we have our own function, but we will use the libraries that are in the main uh, repo. So it's, it's, the function is independent, but it uses libraries that are in the nephew repo. You see? Hmm. Yeah, I can I mean, show you what I what I do myself, right? So, so that's yeah. that's one difference that I see is that there is no Go mod file in in nephew pox. There was no main Go. Yeah, mod no, no, file. no, no. So it was deliberate because uh, if you remember the, yeah. the the one with no S was created by John a long time ago, and then I wasn't able to uh, zip it in until I re uh, unless I restructured the whole directory. That's why I created POCs <laughs> just for that purpose. 
Um, right. Yeah, no, no, it doesn't. Yeah, so it, it was filled with the purpose of not having any root directory stuff other than directories. <laughs> yeah. But for us with nephew nephew, we have a bunch of libraries, right? Mm -hmm. That are in there and that we are using all over the place. But then we have this function, which also sits there that want to use the libraries, but wants to also have its own independence, if you will. So the way I personally solve it myself is always uh -huh. with Go workspaces. Oh. So that's, I, for me, that's how I resolve it. But Isti said uh, that there is an issue with uh, the GoSec, one of the proud jobs that is running uh, is complaining oh. with it. But, I, but I, for me, the, I, the first question was, I mean, getting rid of the main Go mod file, we cannot do. Okay. Unless we put all libraries into a separate repo. So we have to restructure the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So How does uh, Kubernetes does it? Do you know? So do, does anyone just know? One, one, one basic question. Uh, obviously, mm -hmm. I'm not an expert in it, so I, I know it's uh, so all three of you. So essentially, we are. Uh, so can we control how many binaries we build, and how we package in the make file? So what yes. I do, yeah. So I, I, what I, what yes, I do. Obviously, we is... need the different like binaries, right? We obviously need various binaries, and then once we generate various binaries, and then have the make file, control the make file maybe, and then build the Docker files. Uh -huh. Yeah, go ahead, Bill, please. Yeah, so I can show you what I do myself, uh, how to get around this uh, problem. So maybe I should share my screen or not. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. But you're saying the problem specifically is proud jobs instead of any build problem? No, I mean, See, the first thing that, you, so here is, so this is a repo that I use myself for testing these functions, right? So what do I have? I have a, a main Go mod file, right? Mm -hmm. So this is just my own repo with package examples, right? Mm -hmm. so these are, and there are a set of libraries here like these, like in package. So there is cube objects, there is any, so there is a few of these that are sitting here, right? Okay. And then you have the independent function like these, so like the interface function has its own Go mod file, but uses some of these uh, library elements that are sitting here, you see? So what do I do to solve that problem? I, so, I, so I use Go workspaces basically. So I have a Go mod file, I have a Go work file where I initialize each of these independent functions, right? Mm -hmm. And then in each of these functions, I have an independent uh, Go mod file that also rep references the main uh, repo because I'm using libraries from there. So that's how, how I do it. So I replace mm. this. I, so I basically say for anything that is in this directory, go to this subdirectory. So mm -hmm. that's how I do it myself to, is it, oh, so 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 Prow has a problem because it doesn't have a relative re, relative directory structure when you want to build. I don't know the the exact issue. Issue raised okay. it, but I haven't really got into the details. So what okay. I, one thing what I was trying to do is I was going to submit uh, I, because of my interface function is ready. So I will submit it and see what uh, the issue is. Then I can see okay. it myself. Okay. Okay. But but my first question was: Is this the right approach? I, I actually I never use any Go workspace, so I don't know if. Uh, Paula and Victor has any uh, um, experience of that? So I never, I never done it, so I don't, I don't oh, know what. The, yeah. Me neither. Like obviously, it's like a new concept, but I need to investigate a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, same right. here. Oh. Do we know how Kubernetes does it? So I was just looking at uh, Kubernetes. What is it? It's Kubernetes. Kubernetes, right? Yeah, Kubernetes. Kubernetes. So then there, there are a lot of stuff there. Yeah, they. But I just wonder how they do it because they must have a similar issue, right? For sharing pieces of root directories and then propagated them down to all the all the other things in the subdirectory. Uh, do they do that? See, they have a Go mod file, right? Mm -hmm. They have a main one. 
but but you know what uh, we uh, they are trying to uh move things from from yes that i know <laughs> probably yeah. Yeah, they're splitting it up, right? So it's maybe not the right. What about like the uh, but... plugins? Do they do they do they reference to the top things? Oh, that one doesn't even have to go that much. No, <laughs> I don't. I see. I don't think they have this issue because they for ev I, for them this is kind of a big library, right? Mm -hmm. I have the feeling. So let's see whether it's there's just, a go mod file. You know, on their on their case, maybe they just use the top one and then and then never really. Yes, there is nothing the inside. Yeah. Yeah, and everything, but that means that our repo. I see. I think we have two options. Either we use this uh, workspaces, which seems to, but it's fairly new as well, by the way. Yeah? Also, it's not. Mm. Uh, that uh, I mean, new since I think one eighteen or something, or sixteen. Uh, yeah, one eighteen. I thought. I'm not hundred percent sure. But that is that is I, I see two options. Either we re uh, structure the libraries that we basically have. Nephew is basically all the fun, all the library stuff, right? And then that everything that consumes it is outside in a separate repo. Mm -hmm. And we do a structure like we did with the pox, right? So where you don't have a go mod in main, uh, in the root, and then you have a go mod. Uh, in each of the things that need uh, to build, right? So that's mm -hmm. option one. Option two is I, that I see is do do this go workspace uh, stuff, and maybe there is other options, but these are the two that I see. Yeah, what I can library, do is are, are the library something yeah. you expect someone outside of this repo to be using? If it is, then it should be in some sort of common library. So today they are, so most of these libraries are from the function uh, in, in the specializers, right? But they are built in such a way that they could be reused uh, by other uh, components. So for example, the, I, the specializer controller uses it, but also the functions use it. Mm -hmm. You see? But then your all those codes are still under nephew and nephew. Yes. So, so I pasted the link, but I, I know that's very common way of doing it. But it looks like the challenge we have is with, like Vim, you said, because of the multiple mod files. Yeah, plus, uh, I, so it's not the multiple mod files, but also one in the root. I saw a root. Uh, so if you look to, see, you look to nephew, nephew right now, it has, yeah. it has one in the root. So it's, it's the combination of those two that, uh, that creates this problem. So, here. Yeah. So we have a, a go mod here, right? And I think I I think ISTI is PR is one of them what is it, DNN function, right? Mm -hmm. Uh if you look to he has its own go mod file, you see? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, wait, uh, is that correct? Uh, no, yeah, he created Go Workspaces. You see, so he did the same as I did because that's what I, I how I uh, solve it. And that's the, that's the root one, though, right? This code that work. Yeah, but wait. So what you have to do is you have so okay. So you have the the main Go mod file, which is this one. Then you have to set up a Go Work, which is a workspace one, right? And then you have a one in the function itself, which you consume, right? Now, if you look to his PR, mm -hmm. what is the issue? So you can see is there is an issue. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I don't know. So this works. Okay, I suggested it. Uh, did he change it recently? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Pass all of that. <laughs> I add Docker file and separate. Uh, okay, he did that probably during the yeah, so three that. days ago. So. I see. The question fixed go sec errors. Okay. So what is this? Okay, so this was issues on his side. Uh -huh. But this is potentially, yeah. So, so then this go workspace is potentially a way to do it. Mm -hmm. The question is, is this how we want to do it? 
Yeah, so these seems to be more issues on his side. Mm -hmm. Should we try it with Google workspaces? It seems yeah. that he got through, it seems, in the meantime. So that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. But we don't want to mess up uh, the whole thing if that's not the right way forward. So that's a bit the reason. I, so I wanted to raise it as a point of attention because it's... Not yeah, I don't yeah, I don't I don't know enough about Google Workspace to see what it is. But then I also so what's so it's, the problem is GoSack is complaining. No, apparently he got so you just saw that uh, his is uh, yeah, but then but then before he, doing this fix, the, the the original problem was because GoSack was complaining about something. Yeah, yeah there, there was something that uh, it didn't like, but uh, but it goes. I I'm not sure what the real root cause is. Uh, we never mm -hmm. I never was able to dug into, but right now I, he set up the Go workspaces as I was, uh, so when you see in his PR, but and he, he doesn't get any GoSec issues, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think he, he, did they, a, he did a separate, he did a separate PR for that. I don't know the details, Stephen. I mm -hmm. think he had the PR to fix the GoSec issue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that was a, so. There was there was an independent issue, uh, but that was still another thing, uh, uh, Bala, right? So that was yet another uh, thing. Yeah. That was something that uh, this this is really related to the the Go workspaces and stuff like that. So if you look at this file, you see here that he he probably added. Uh, so you see, he added the Docker file. Mm -hmm. He added his own Go mod, right? And he added uh, a sum, okay. And then I think you will see later. These are tests. In this case, he doesn't have a Go workspace yet. And then I think here he added a Go workspace. In my view, fix Go sec is errors. No, lip test lip. So that's still a different thing. I don't know exactly what he did. Uh, where did the add go workspace? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I'll talk to him, but uh, yeah. So the yeah. question is uh, if we. Yeah. Well, when we have to understand the problem first, <laughs> because we, we don't know. We don't yeah, know. but yeah. but I think I, there is two things. Is either is there still an issue with GoSec, uh, and is it related to Go workspaces, right? Uh, so that's yeah. I I'll I'll submit my interface function uh, this evening. So I will find yeah, yeah. out. Take a look. Uh, whether see if you have so if you have a GoSec problem yourself. Wait, yeah. uh, he added in the, the last last the last comment. Use newly. Yeah, that one. It is this one. one? He, that's when he added the Go workspace. Okay, yeah. So he, yeah, it's it's see, it's fairly new because he had an issue last week. That's why. I, so it's basically the last one which came in today, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he just did that. So that's which was I, the way I do it. But uh, yeah, so I don't know whether this is the way forward. So but, one thing is also I would suggest probably we should also ask John because he suggested we can put everything together. And obviously he would know at that point of time about we would have the need to create multiple binaries uh, with multiple bar mod files. Probably we can also take his suggestion once. Yes, yes, yes. There was a thread with John on it on the Slack channel somehow, uh, where I suggest to go workspaces. And what was John's reply? But we can raise it again to him. Uh, but but, uh, but I see? like your idea, Wim. Probably you can push that PR with the interface PR as a draft PR and see how it's going to behave with Pro and stuff. You can understand. Yeah, and then at least uh, we have a, a second uh, thing, right? Right. Here. Yeah. So this is, I think. Uh, 
Is it the one? No, that's not the one. Uh, go for spaces. Here, yeah, this is what I said. I wasn't aware of this. Du -du 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 -du. Hey, this is the threat, right? Yeah. Sounds useful, but uh, that's all he said. I'm voting you removing what is that? He says something. If you write that, I'm voting for removing removing go mod file but uh, so yeah but so this was before i suggested go workspace so the problem that in my view you cannot really remove it uh, because we you need it somewhere else right if you see if you look to the repo right of uh, nephew nephew right in general if you look to the code See, what you have is you have this go mod file and then you have here a bunch of libraries, right? See, yeah. this condition SDK, interface, cap file, blah, 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 right? So that's one. And then we will have, at the moment, the idea is here we have KRM function and then it called function, right? So, so they will use these libraries. So in other words, if you don't have a go mod file that, that, uh, that contains these libraries, you cannot import them. So either you have a go mod file of each of these <laughs> independent. Hmm. You see uh, the problem, Bala? Yeah, yeah. So, I, I, I think based on everything you showed, Bim, I think the solution you're proposing is probably the best one if it works in our CICD. Correct. Yeah, that's the the main question, and I was just looking to see whether people had experience uh, here and whether there there was any advice uh, for it. Uh, because I think if you look at Go Workspaces, when did it introduce? I don't know. Uh, one eighteen. Yeah, um, one eighteen. Right. <laughs> so it's not so. <laughs> yeah, it's not. I would say. I mean, 118 probably is used, but the question is whether this feature is used. So, so when the, the other alternative could be uh, create separate repos, like yes, no, that that's that's a bit far fetched at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yeah. We have we have moved too much in this direction, Victor. No, no, no. I'm just trying to analyze. Oh, but that. we we could still we could still do it. Uh, I think Bala, because the functions are not there, right? So it's basically I, what creates the issue is the functions. So we could decide to say the function go into a separate repo. And then this becomes library. You see? But yeah. of course, we have to set up the repo, set up prow. It creates a whole bunch of other uh, challenges, yeah. of course. But it's, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's still, we could still decide to do so if we have to, is what I'm trying to do. Okay. But yeah. yeah. True. I mean, I, the reason. I think we went with that thought first, right? I mean, uh, we discussed the two possibilities, having separate repos versus having this. I think then probably we voted on this. I mean, basically this is John's suggestion was to have- A single, yeah. as little way. as possible. As yeah, little as, as possible. As little as, little as possible, yeah. Uh, probably I would, my, my, my mind is probably you should make it work. As we have what it right we now. have if we, yeah okay. if we obviously if we cannot make it work at all then obviously you know we had to take a step back that's fine okay so i'll do a test uh with interface function uh today right and i'll let you know and then i think it's probably good to have some pe I, people with experience uh here because what for me is weird i or is i weird kubernetes doesn't do it <laughs> which for me is a little bit uh, because that's one of the, I, I, that would be one of those uh, repos that you say I was expecting they, they had the similar so how issue do they, so how do they do it then see they only have a go mods main file because I was just searching so this is the Kubernetes repo right yeah. so I was just searching here for a go mod file right go.mod and what you find, so you don't find 
I'll go mod file anyway. Uh, oh, man, that's not correct. Yeah. Yeah, source. This one is a go mod file. Ah, so they do something similar here, you see. So this is a separate, uh, similar way of, uh, but they don't use Go workspaces uh, as a whole. They do it relatively within the Go mod file. Basically, that's what I Go workspaces uh, basically is. So you see here, you do a, they do a relative directory from where they are sitting without using Go workspace. If you look to my, with Go workspaces, if you look to the Go mod file, you do something similar here, right? So you mm -hmm. say, replace, blah, blah, blah. But then you also do in the main one, you make uh, these I Go workspaces uh, use these uh, interface. So I'm building from main, I'm building all of these functions uh, from the root, you see? So I can build, uh, all my functions from from the root. So they could have dedicated tools that each uh, do their own builds uh, within their subdirectory, right? So that's yeah. I think I found one more link. Uh, I think if they're doing something similar to what you're suggesting, Go dot work. Do they have that, right? Because that's the file. No, they don't have that. Yeah, I just put a link. Probably they are doing something similar. What is suggesting? This one. The chat. Yeah, they're replacing the modules. And... Yeah, that's kind of. Uh... That's, that's usually one uh, element. That's usually yeah, that's the, the go the go go mod hack or something, if you will. <laughs> there, if yes, that's the goal. That's the hack. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you no, even I mean, have to I, do that. We, we, we usually do it because uh, we haven't checked in the library yet. <laughs> Onto the main repo, <laughs> so we, we just kind of point the repos into our home, our our, our local directory or your your own personal yes. uh, GitHub, and then and then making Correct. sure that once it's checked in, you have to we have to get rid of the lines. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So the question is, do we is it do we only do this? Let me uh, let me look at only doing this right without go workspace uh, without the full go workspace in the main, in the root, and mm -hmm. see whether I can get it to work. Yeah, I mean also if you scroll down a little bit, there is a comment about go workspaces. Uh, not not if you scroll up a little bit more, just just to the original question. Uh, uh, up here. Yeah, yeah. To the comment here. Uh, the final comment, one of those comments, if you say it's it's possible, but not before the third answer. Yeah. yeah. One, two, three, actually. Uh, multiple modules in the same project should be possible, but not before going that yet. So I think probably, I think they are also some of them. Uh, for what I'm seeing is what you're doing is probably the sound solution for this. I think if it probably we should try to see if it works. Mm -hmm. So the full workspace stuff yeah. or only the replace? Yeah, full part? workspace, yeah, full workspace. I think to me, I mean, obviously not knowing that, but just learning that from you, it looks like they have, they have, that's, this is one of the purposes of that feature. Yeah, that was the, feature, it's, it's, the feature is built the for this particular purpose. Yeah. That's correct, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So, and then it's, yeah, I mean, it's at least, uh, at least there for some time now. I mean, it's going to be, I mean, probably we can make use of it. Okay. So let me see whether, uh, what, how I end up uh, with this. And then, yeah, if it works, then, then we take this forward. Yeah. Okay. So that was the topic. Yeah, I think uh, if it works, I mean, yeah, it's not only the function like, like you said, uh, Vim, it, this is uh, our bulk of our code is there. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. It is going to be useful for that. And I'm pretty sure this will be used for, uh, do you have the same problem in the, uh, on the work, uh, workload side too, Stephen? Workload. Because we have, no, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't have a root directory go mod. Um, ah. But then 3.5 GC also has a, 
Okay, so we, we don't have multiple controllers on Free Fire GC. So it's a single build. Oh, for all the three. Yeah. So when you when you do a when you do a, a, a Docker Docker build or Docker push, it's basically the same. It's the same binary. So all the controllers get bundled into a single operator uh, binary that goes out. So when you when you when you do a build when you do a Docker build, it would basically just build one Docker image off of the entire um, Free Fire GC operator. Okay. So basically, that is all the controllers and the operator together. Yeah. Yeah. But they they practically speaking, they basically just share the same build. Well. Actually, no, they, they each, the controller's directory. So the main directories, under controllers, you write different controllers. Um, the main directory has its own Godot mod. Yeah, we haven't, we haven't had a case where they need independent different stuff yet at this point. They're, they're so similar that it's actually not, yeah, it's not, it's not a lot of things. Um, okay. So for that, yeah. That's okay, but, but the thing is, uh, when this will be used for, uh, for all the management cluster components, and then, uh, in case probably, maybe in case we see you change how, something because the, on the workflow side in the future, it will be used from that ones. It's up KPT, right? So I think they have a similar uh, setup. Uh, go mods. So they have go mod. Wait, is this KPT? Yeah. And I think porch is in there somewhere. Yeah, porch is on the porch. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so they have their own Go mod file here, I think. You see here? Ah, but they use, see, they okay, they them, use yeah. uh, workspace. So this is the oh. old uh, trick uh, to do. I see. So they have, uh, and then they probably here that is replaced. You see this? Yeah, replace, replace tick, 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 tick. Yeah. Yeah, it's similar thing. But they don't have the Go work. No. Uh, just going, uh, uh, the article that I shared, like, the last, the last portion of that article was saying that uh, the committee doesn't recommend to to share the, the code dot uh, work file. So just go to the best practice, which is at, at the end. Oh, yeah, yeah. So basically, they are saying like is the preferences included in put it the go work as part of the ignore file. So. It is used for local. Ah, it's just for yourself. Yeah, okay. I see. That makes sense. Yeah, probably that's why it's going to be a little bit hard to find <laughs> examples. Yeah, that's what I see. Is I see most of the people doing this replace stuff, but not to go work. Uh, okay, mm -hmm. but that's I so. So that's what I also, uh, so what I will do is is avoid to go work and see whether it works, right? Like mm -hmm. that. And then uh, it seems this relative replace stuff is being used in various places, right? So that's safe, I, or at least that part seems to be okay, right? If kept mm -hmm. is using it, so kept is using that here, right? You see, in porch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're using replace. Yeah, and then you see it also in Kubernetes, it was used. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then, okay, probably the, that's the same example in the Stack Overflow, right? That is, they are doing yeah, here, you, there's all this replace you see here, so they use that, but they never use Go work. So that was the part, and I do agree with you that this is actually more for yourself uh, to make your life easier. So if I, so in my case, this part, uh, I use in order to build myself uh, all these functions, but you don't have to do that for you, right? So, okay. So what they suggest is only this part. So this this piece seems to be okay, but the mm -hmm. go work uh, we should avoid. So, okay, I will I will try that, and then yeah, I, that I, seems I, to be I, used. I, I, yeah, I was actually sorry. thinking slightly differently. I mean, I, I know with this will work, right? I mean, we have two ways now. One is to go workspace and, and then doing the straight replace. Say, they are complementary to each other. Eh? They are they are doing, uh, they are uh, together. You need them. Uh, wait, so the, the, the replace you need anyhow, right? Even with go workspace. I right. if you use go workspaces here. Yeah. But this is really, I, the way I see it also, or how I use it is really convenience uh, capability for me. Yeah? 
because it allows me to build all of these things uh, myself as one big uh, thing, right? And I have a, and this one summarizes it all. You see? With the workspaces, right? Yeah, so what they suggest is not to check these files in into a, into a, a big, into the root. I so you, you can have it locally, but don't check it in. Yeah. Mm, I, I'm, I'm... We should probably do some more research as to why that is the case, right? So that's, do they say why? that somewhere? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, why that doesn't make sense to me? Why it, it's not a so we are going to lose it next time somebody checks it out. So how? What? No, what what you don't get with it is that you are not able to. I. You have to. I, it's the local environment that does that. It seems. I don't... No, no. The it's thing is, you have really, if you you if cannot you share it, right? The, the idea, whole idea is to share. It will use your Google by default unless well, yeah, that's, yeah. Maybe because, uh, I mean, any other like has like a different, I mean, for example, like, like developer A can be working with uh, some different versions. So they can point to uh, binaries which are located in the copad library i guess i just guess you know so um but yeah maybe we need to investigate a little more about this so i mean probably is this article's intention i'm not sure what is the intention of this article this it introduces workspaces. Yeah, it introducing workspaces, but maybe this article thinks that it is only needed for development environment and not the. Uh, if if you go all the way down, the last statement made me think. Yeah, the warning though, if you do happen to push your Go work file, it looks like. If you run go build, it will use your go work file by default unless you explicitly turn it off. This could lead to production builds having development code in. And, and so I think I have a feeling. Uh, yeah, we obviously we need to read this article. What what is what is, what what is that the point this article is trying to convey? I mean, but we actually need this in our production environment. Mm -hmm. uh, Therefore, it might be worth always turning production builds with go work off. Um, yeah, but then you don't do use that. it. Yes, yes, yes. We could do that if at all we need that. We could do that. Uh, uh, we should still check it in, maybe, and then say this go work off. If 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 we get into that kind of a situation. Mm -hmm. So what, uh, yeah. Yeah. So my mind is that probably we should try with your go work thing, put it as a draft PR, pull, push it in and see how it behaves. If it behaves in certain way, then enable this go work off onto that draft PR and see how it behaves. And then the third part is just replace. I think probably that's what I would suggest. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's where my mind is at because I have a feeling without knowing much about this feature, it looks like this is meant for this kind of purpose. Yeah, it's built for this purpose, yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm using it typically for myself. So uh, I, I'm not used to it with a big uh, environment itself. So that's why I'm not I'm very comfortable uh, yet. Uh, <laughs> How it used. What I also see, Bala is nobody in the big projects. I so there is two projects is using it. So that's a bit scary, I think. Yeah. Now, of course, <laughs> right? So that's why I would be a bit hesitant to check in the Go Work file at this stage. Because if you can make it work without checking it in, that's also good, right? And then do some more research before right. we we add this go.work file. I would I, that would be my take on this thing. You see? 
Yes. Because if, if none of the big projects uses it, then I'm a bit skeptical. <laughs> <laughs> if if it was used in Kubernetes and, and, and kept, okay, I would have no problem. But at the moment, none of them uses it. You see? And they use, and it's uh, also multiple Go mod files inside of the, the thing. So that gives me some hesitation. You see? Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, I understand. So that's why I was suggesting, yeah, let it make the draft be a play with it. Uh, uh, if it doesn't. Yeah, so, work, so what I what I will do is, I, what I, what yeah. I suggest we do is, I take interface function without go work. I so make it work right with the replace stuff. Okay. Don't check in the go work right. So I have mm -hmm. that, uh, and then see if that works. Then we can uh, use that for now, right? So that's one, because then you can always build and do a, a relative directory build for that function and you're fine, right? And then I'll do a separate PR with the go.work file to, to use that uh, in, then in the main file and see, and people have to look at that and see how it uh, works out. Is that not the, the way forward here, Bala? Yeah. The, yeah, that's fine too, yeah. yeah. We'll that's fine too. We do it in two steps? Yes, we'll do it in two steps. Either any way, two steps is fine. Uh, yeah, I was, uh, my intention was, okay, you already did with go work and let's see if it works. But if you think, uh, yeah, you have a great point too, because if two great, two big projects that we saw, if they are not using it. <laughs> so I also- It's scary. Point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think let's do that. Yeah. And then probably we had to coordinate with this team. Yeah, I will. I will uh, talk to him tomorrow. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Mm -hmm. Right. I'll take it from there. All right. Yeah, it cool. was a very useful discussion. Actually, if I'm not uh, <laughs> deciding not to have a meeting and then having one. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, if we still have time, so I would like to just um, discuss another, another idea. So, sure, sure. Yeah, good. So it's something that I just noticed in the Prefi GC uh, project, basically all the steps uh, that they are going through um, to, to, to test everything, like um, mm -hmm. um, especially building images and doing all these things. I, I just noticed that there is like a interesting use case if, if you are aware of uh, the KO tool. I mean, it's mostly for testing as well. So I'm not trying to replace anything. So, but basically uh, with that tool, avoid certain steps um, when you go to the interesting part. So in this particular PR, what I'm saying is just adding like a, a new way to deploy things mm -hmm. so obviously you have like a your kind cluster or you, you don't have it so but but the interesting thing is this particular particular piece like so with this tool basically you can apply and as you can see you don't have like a to to build and push your docker image so 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 basically saving um some steps and also dependency because you don't require like a a registry so and the annotation that you have to, to have in your um, yaml file is this one so it is following like like the same concept of build packs so it's uh, basically removing the, the docker files dependency um, yeah I don't know if uh, guys I can contrast your thing because um, basically what they're saying is like Eventually, like managing multiple Docker files could be a headache, especially in those large deployments. Um, I, I'm not sure, like, <laughs> but but yeah, basically this is a, the, the major like uh, change that. I, so uh, I don't know if you have been playing with a KO before, like, but uh, yeah, for for these cases, like, it's pretty pretty nice because. For example, with uh, if you're developing and you're testing things, uh, so you don't need to. So it just reduces the, the, the um, development process, like covering all the, the aspects and um, especially building and 
uh, the container files and everything. So I just propose it as a as an additional step. So I'm not trying to replace existing ones. So if someone prefers to to use um, the Docker build method, like uh, we call the additional steps, it's fine. And uh, this is more like a like a an initial additional method to do it. Mm. So that what does that that this Docker build basically, KL. Yeah, that that replaces the need of uh, like if I remember correctly. And so you have to create like you write the tree, you have to build and push. Uh, yeah, know, so. yeah. So yeah, that was that. That's actually all generated by Kill Builder. But yeah, <laughs> we were using we were using basically the the Kill Builder mechanisms of doing this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So so in, in in this particular case, you can you can avoid this these two steps. Mm -hmm. And the deploy is going to be made on the kind cluster. Like, I just try to put like everything that is needed here, like the creation of the cluster, like uh, the setup, like installing Multus and waiting for uh, the dependency. And but basically, from this point is pretty much the same. So okay. you customize to uh, build everything that is needed <laughs> and integrate mm -hmm. with the cluster. Okay. Oh, so you, okay. So, so yeah. that would be so they push it into, or they push it based on what you have in your make file anyway. So it's not like it, they dump it in, not dump it into like a local registry or anything. It's yeah. a local registry in the, in the kind cluster. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. You have a root. And so where, where do they, where do they get the Docker uh, or where do they get the built info from? Yeah, the, all the, the Docker file is, uh, steps and instructions are like how to generate like uh, so they are like following kind of a standard uh, procedure like so it's it's kind of tricky because it's for um, use cases where where you are following a, a traditional build so I think if your goal build is like a has additional steps or like um is not following the traditional build process probably well, this is not a, a use case but for now as, as it is like we can definitely use it mm -hmm. because we have a different docker file uh, or at least for the function we have a bit of a different docker file than you have for a controller mm -hmm. So yeah, that was my question. So is there any particular base Docker file? I think uh, Rado was I vaguely remember. Was he was he was he considering creating a base Docker file for our images? He has to create a separate one for function because the the path uh, that uh, is used is uh, very specific for functions. Okay, one for function. So the SDK. Yeah, so there is going to be, but it can be all the same, right? So that's not a problem. But the function one, uh, there is a that right, there is a the entry point is very dedicated uh, in the file. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably this is like uh, the the image that they have under the covers, like uh, following kind of the best practices and try to um, using this rule as a. Outputs. Yeah. So but I'm assuming, uh, I'm assuming, Victor, that you can customize a Docker file somewhere that you say, please, I use this, right? So it doesn't have to be one for all, but it can be. Is it not the way you could use this? I mean, I've used it, I've looked at it before, but I haven't really experienced it. Yeah. Could you not basically say migrating from Docker file? Because somehow you have the file. Could you not uh, have something? Uh, is there nothing that you can reference something that he imports and then use it for the build? I'm migrating to KO. Like, like adding additional steps or like, yeah, I don't know, like maybe we need to add them. Uh, yeah. And uh, maybe it's just like a for, for developing um, purpose. So we, I can, I can definitely can ask him to see if uh, we can use it for more advanced use cases. Mm -hmm. 
see, these are all abstractions on top of abstractions, right? So I'm, <laughs> I'm okay. See, for me, I, I, the way I look at it is an abstraction is good from the moment you have a good sense of what you're doing. At the moment, we are still <laughs> in a mode of uh, figuring out what to do. And then an abstraction sometimes hinders you. But uh, yeah, I'm yeah. not familiar I, or experienced enough to give a reasonable comment. Yeah, it will probably, yeah, having a child with Rado may be also be helpful. I don't know where, uh, what he was mentioning about the. Okay. Yeah, yeah. for now, like, like uh, the way that I just proposed it is like an additional way. Like, I'm not trying to replace anything. <laughs> so, no no, 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 it could be the way, right? That's why maybe, uh, unless, Stephen, if you have, you have any other suggestions, other than probably talking today. Yeah, no, I mean, we can make a discussion, obviously, on Slack. I, I, yeah, I don't, I, it doesn't, I would, I'm, I'm actually very surprised it doesn't use the Docker file directly on the subdirectories, right? Why would it, why would it know how to build it otherwise? Yeah, well, actually the, the only argument that I have heard, especially not from, from this community is for the build packs community mm -hmm. is a use case when definitely you have like a tons of uh, Docker files and, and eventually you discover like a vulnerability in one of the base images. Uh, and you have to manage that particular case, like <laughs> like building all the Docker files uh, from different places. Like, um, mm -hmm. so that's why uh, the, 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 the uh -huh. build packs uh, community is like avoiding to use uh, Docker files at all. Like, uh, um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm angry with the uh, whim. So let's <laughs> It, it, you, it, we used to we used to write very complicated Docker files in the beginning, and then now we want to simplify it further. And then now you just want to not have it <laughs> have a have a common one that it works for everybody. And it's, I don't know, <laughs> it's, it's it's very interesting, um, because in the in a long time ago, uh, I've I've seen very very complicated Docker files. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So. Yeah. No, I I don't have a very strong opinion on this. Um, for free five GC is basically just one Docker build. <laughs> so if you replace it and have a standard Docker file that works for free five GC, that would be fine. Um, but then for for everyone else, I I don't I I think there'll probably be a lot of variations. Uh, um, well, but for I'm, me it's I'm, the same, right? I mean, I need mm -hmm. also one. I, so we will need one for the specializer. And my view, they should be the same as the free five GC one mm -hmm. because I just have a main. And mm -hmm. I just need the uh, yeah. image, right? And uh, yeah. that's it. It just, <laughs> it just, nothing it's in... just go and <laughs> you just yeah, go, go mod, and I, uh, you yeah, copy just, go mod go. file and uh, <laughs> yeah, this is the traditional thing. So I'm for the specializer, I'm using the traditional Q builder one, right? Mm -hmm. So without any changes. Yeah, no, I, we and, don't change anything either. And then for the function, they have their own Docker file because the entry point is different. Mm -hmm. I think in in uh, controller uh, in the cube builder it's slash manager or something so there yeah. it's like uh, slash sdk slash functions or something like that so they have a dedicated path mm -hmm. that they use right and if you don't use it port no, I, I could i could see that because the um, the the orange 35 gc upf particularly it's actually a different entry point but then but then the the they they would rather use the config map to to reroute the entry points instead of actually changing the Docker file, <laughs> it's a very interesting choice. Wow! Yeah. Wow! Really? Yep. The uh, well, no, no, actually, no. So the the, the pod, no, the pod specs point to a different entry point that actually is from the config map. <laughs> so, yeah, it is. It's yeah. So they would they would rather do that, which is interesting okay but that's for the base image i think right so is that not for the base image that they would use base okay i don't know oh okay that seems to be more for the base image that they would download in order to not use the regular repo but just to say i have a private image or i have a dedicated image coming from somewhere else i don't know i mean no 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 so like, the that in that particular case they want to execute a script in the container itself. Oh, so this is actually well, not really even Docker related. This is actually related to the entry points of the uh, executing the first command off of the pod. Um, the the idea is um, when the inside containers when they they want to execute a script off of a container, but then they don't want it to be in that container for some reason. 
so so they they would they they different entry points off of a config map uh, that they would load. So you have to well, I mean the 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 pub wouldn't even come up with the config map in the first place. So they're guaranteed to have it if they up. Um, so. Oh, interesting. So it's an interesting way of doing things, but you know, we, we did it. We did it the same way because we kind of copied what uh, what was done by the. Yeah, there's no, yeah. there's no point in reinventing the wheel. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So you can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I welcome new tools if you if you know a little more, uh, and if it if it makes life easier, um, and then you can you can post it and talk about it on on, on Slack if you want to. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thanks, I appreciate that. And also, yeah. check with the radar ones as well. And just because if he's doing something in the similar, I remember he was saying something. I may be wrong. Okay. All right. All right. At See the hours. Any, anything else? We, con um, we consumed our meeting. I know. Amazing. <laughs> We were, we were going to cancel it, and then we had we we, we took the full hour. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Guys. Well, see you guys basically either tomorrow or or Wednesday. Probably. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Bye bye. Bye.